All right, are we filming? Yes. This video is being shot horizontally instead of vertically. If you've been watching my thrift hauls over on Instagram, thank you so much for coming over to YouTube with me so that you could watch this haul. I am going to be doing a lot more of these hauls here on YouTube. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you just randomly stumbled upon this video, um, I'm going to do a little introduction so you know what my channel is going to be about, who I am, and just get to know me a little bit. Let's get started. First things first, I tend to be a little bit rambly. I will probably end up doing a lot of editing to make this more watching friendly. So anyways, hello, hi, my name is Melinda. I have an Instagram that I mentioned earlier, and that is my joyfully curated Instagram. That's where I post thrifting content, outfit videos. I am an avid thrifter. I love secondhand shopping. You'll see a lot of thrift hauls over on this channel. It'll probably end up being, honestly, mostly thrift hauls. I have a two-year-old named Augie, so he keeps me plenty, plenty busy. And then when I'm not taking care of him, I am a nurse. So I am a nurse here in Houston. So between those two things and the fact that I like to go to thrift stores all the time, my husband jokingly and lovingly says that the thrift store is my second home. Um, that just gives you an idea of how often I am at the thrift store. So I think that's enough introduction, at least for now. You guys are here to see a thrift haul. So a thrift haul is what I'm going to give you. So we're going to have a like miscellaneous and home decor section. So I think I'll start off with that. Next will be adult clothing. So women's clothing. And then lastly, I will do children's items. So children's items will include clothing, toys, and books. Sound good? Oh, and I almost forgot um, what I'm wearing is this Zara dress. It is a long, long midi dress. So in case anyone's wondering, um, I thrifted this piece from Goodwill and I actually hauled it in one of my previous thrift hauls. So if you're interested in seeing that haul, it's not gonna be over here on YouTube because I filmed it vertically. So you'll be able to check that out over on my Instagram page. Let's get started with the haul. I found this amazing fleece cars blanket for my son. My son is, like I said before, he's two and he's very much into cars right now. We are deep in our cars era. So I was so excited to find this blanket for him. It looks like someone made this. They probably grabbed some fleece from the fabric store and put this together for their son. So this is the blanket. It's rather large and he loves it. I actually thrifted a little like comforter and also a sheet set that's also cars themed, but that's like already in Augie's room. He's been enjoying it. So sadly he's napping. He has the blanket with him. I can't show you guys, but if you want to see, I also featured that in an Instagram reel. So go over there if you are interested at all. And somebody must have donated like all of their candles. There were a ton of really nice unused candles. Um, and this was one of the ones I got. It is White Barn and this is Black Cherry Merlot. This one was $4.99. It retails for $25. I got this one. It says Bellevue. I'm not familiar with it, but it is this balsam cardamom cardamom candle. So this one was $5.99. So the last one is a Bath and Body Works candle. It's brand new. It has three wicks. It is fall in bloom. This one was $5.99. Retails for $26. I found some artwork. First up is this artwork. Um, it was $9.99. I am going to be redoing my son's room. Um, here in the upcoming months, he is still in a crib and I want to transition him over to a toddler bed. And so while I'm doing that, I thought I might as well just give him a really nice room makeover. So that'll be in the works. You'll see some of the progress. Um, maybe I'll film it for, for YouTube. I guess that'd be good content too. Found this amazing piece. It's very heavy. Okay. So here it is. Can you guys see it? Um, so it is a picture of, it looks like someone's house, um, and they're really cute 
perhaps living room, but the style here of the interiors is Grand Millennial, and I love Grand Millennial home decor. If I had either A, unlimited budget, or B, unlimited time to thrift things, I would probably go with Grand Millennial style for my own home. But I feel like it's either really expensive or it's really hard to find these things at the thrift store for a really good good deal. You guys, I just, I actually just featured this in a TikTok. It is these brass horses. So I got two of these little ones. This first one was $6.99 and it's like heavy. I don't know anything about these, like what time period they might be from or if they have any sort of monetary value, but I will be using these for my house and I am so freaking excited because these are so nice. This is the second one that I thrifted. And if you look like really close, I'll let that focus. Look at the detailing on it. Um, I don't even know how one goes about doing this, but it is so beautiful. And then the last one is the mama horse. And again, she just has like this beautiful engraving. If anyone watching this happens to know anything about these horses, like this style, this kind of decor, please tell me because I would just love to learn more. Next, we're gonna be moving on to women's clothing. First up, I'm gonna show you this fun pillowcase. Is it a pillowcase? No, it's just a fun piece of fabric. So it looks like this, and you might be wondering, oh, she said she was gonna start showing us women's clothing. Why is she showing this to us? And that is a good question. I have been wanting to find some mother and son matching outfits, and that has proven to be a little bit difficult. Um, there's just not as many things offered um, for like boy moms versus girl moms. And so I thought maybe it would be fun to just like grab fabric that I really like and um, sew something. Not like me sew something, because I don't sew. I want to, but I don't. Um, my mom actually sews, and so she's actually working on a few things right now for me and Augie with fabric that I picked up during a previous thrift store trip. So you'll see, you'll see that grand reveal whenever she's done. But I was thinking maybe this would be cute to make something as well. Um, since the fabric's so like short, maybe like a skirt, like a maxi skirt for me and a top for Augie, like a tiered one. What do you guys think? Um, if you can think of any other um, things that I can use this fabric for, like clothing wise, let me know because right now, oops, Right now, I'm only thinking of a skirt. Next up, I found this really fun jacket or outerwear piece. So this is by the brand Chico's. Chico's is usually a bit more sophisticated for my taste. I don't buy a lot of it for myself, but I thought the print on this piece was so fun and I'm really excited to style it. This came out on a new rack and look at this fun, bold print. So it is a really long um, like jacket. I found this Tibby blouse. So Tibby is one of my favorite brands. They make really nice pieces. Let's do a few shoes. So uh, whoever donated these shoes probably donated the other shoes that I found because they're all my size, all the same size. So this is a pair of jelly sandals and these are by Steve Madden. They're studded, they're jelly. Um, they look barely even worn. There's still like the price sticker on them. And I paid $8.99 for those. The next pair I thrifted were these really amazing chunky wedge um, splendid sandals. I've been wanting something like this. This will look really great with like skirts and dresses. Third pair of shoes that I found with those other two were these express heels. Really excited to find, find this pair. And again, they seem like almost brand new. These were $14.99. The splendid ones were $12.99. And then during a different thrift trip, I found these, and these definitely are new. So these are by Seychelles. And how 
beautiful is this green color. I love these, these are so fun. But these were March 19.99. This pair of shoes, <clears throat> I thrifted for my husband, but he hasn't gotten a chance to try them on yet, so if they don't fit him, I will be selling these. So these are a pair of P448 um, sneakers. I thought they were so fun, and I really like the color, I like the style. I don't know if he'll go for it. He wears a lot of Nike like tennis shoes and he doesn't really wear cute shoes like this. Um, so these were $12.99, which is a great deal for these. These kind of retail for, for a lot. Last item I found is this bag. So it's quilted. It kind of reminds me of those oversized free people ones that are really um, in right now. But this is a smaller version, which I think I appreciate the smaller version, just so my stuff doesn't get lost in the purse. So this was $7.99. It's by Urban Expressions. And this will be such a cute, like, mom, mom bag. Um, and now we're going to be moving on to my last section, which, which is children's items. So I have a few books that I'll show quickly. And before I get into the books, I'm just gonna say that I love books, not only for myself, but for my son. And the thrift store is one of the best places to find books um, because A, they're so cheap. B, a lot of the times people donate like brand new books. And then C, you can find a lot of great books to use as gifts for friends, so like birthday presents. Um, so the first book I found is this Star Wars one. One of my friends, their family really loves Star Wars, so this will be for them. This was $3. I found this National Geographic Animal Arc book for my son. I love that it has real life pictures of the animals. He loves these kind of books with real pictures. He is also really into dinosaurs right now. The two big things we really love right now are cars and dinosaurs. So this is a 3D dinosaur book. This is another dinosaur book that I found for him. This is a book on castles. We love these, is it Osborne? Osborne? Um, right here. We love this brand of books, and so I was really, really excited to find that. Um, we love this author, Oliver Jeffers, so I was excited to pick this one up. Here is a Toy Story um, search and find book. This is a, it's called Maybe. It won some kind of award, so it must be good. This was $3. This is one of our favorite board books, I Love You to the Moon and Back. Um, I'm gonna give this to someone who's expecting a baby. This was $1.99. And then I found this board book also for $1.99. It's Good Night, Good Night Construction Site um, Shapes. Augie loves this series. Um, and last but not least, I found this for my friend. It is called Eleanor. It is actually about Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, she has a little girl named Eleanor. She goes by Ellie. So I'm going to be gifting that to her. If you're watching this, then you already know um, it's not gonna be a surprise and I'm giving that to you and Ellie. Now we're gonna move on to the toy section. And first up is this. It's a backpack. And as you can see, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. It cannot fit very much. It has like the teeniest, tiniest zipper back here. But I think the point is not that it's a backpack, but that you can wear Sonic on your back. And I think this is so amazing. I'm going to be giving this to my friend's son who is very much into Sonic the Hedgehog right now. He used to be into cars, which is like what my son's into right now, and now he's into Sonic. So it makes me wonder if Augie's going to be into Sonic one day, but only um, time will tell. Um, and next, Augie really likes Monsters, Inc. and Sully. And so I found this Monsters, Inc. Plushy. This one's brand new with tags and then it has a little boo. So I thought this was so cute. I found some of these figurines. So they're by the brand Schleck and Schleck makes some of the best, most realistic figurines in the toy, toy market. They're uh, Native Americans. And I found four of them. For some reason, I only have three over here, but I found four of them. And so these were each $3.99 or $5.99. And so I found this one, this one, and this one. I wanna say I found a duplicate of this one. So next up, I found these construction vehicles 
for my son. Next up, I found this Skip Hop little hedgehog crawl toy. It is brand new in the package. They wanted $7 for this. So I think that'll make a great gift for one of my friends who is having a baby. I got this little Barbie new in package outfit set. This will be for one of my friend's daughters. Found this little Melissa and Doug Paw Patrol toy. It's a little like driving toy. And then there's all like the little buttons, there's a key. Next, I found this little set of basketball guys. That's what it says on the package, basketball guys. I think this will be fun for his little sensory table. My husband also plays basketball, so it might be fun to use that or use this to teach him about basketball and all the different positions. This was $1.99. I found this little holder. I actually thrifted this a while back and never featured it in a haul. Um, so it's already been like used. As you can see, he has some of his cars in it. Um, it's double-sided and holds a good amount of his Hot Wheels cars. And it has a little carrying case. I think this is like two or three dollars. I found this little cash register for him. It is by the brand The Learning Journey. And so it opens up and you put the money in the cash register. I found this robot for him. I don't love things that make noise when it comes to like toys, but I will make exceptions. I don't exactly know what it does. It makes like music, it sings songs. I think it lights up. But Augie is really into robots. This amazing brother truck, and they make amazing toy vehicles. And they're very, very realistic. So that's the amazing thing about this brand, is they're very lifelike, and like the proportions are very accurate. So this was $8.99, and brother trucks actually retail for a lot. So this retailed for like 70 or 80. A lot of the trucks cost at least $100. So this was an awesome find. And when I found this, the Goodwill, the Goodwill employee was so amazing. He was like really excited for me and showing me all the different features on this truck. He was showing me like how it works, um, like spin this, crank this, do this. Um, it was just really nice to have him like walk me through it and be excited for me and this find. Okay, and then the last item to round up the toy portion of this haul will be this amazing wooden stable. So this is a horse stable. There are the doors. And then there's also a door right there. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't even know what this was. I think it's a little like um, storage section of the barn. So this barn right here was $14.99 and it actually came with the horses. So I have three toy horses. Oh my goodness. You guys just caught this avalanche of kids clothes falling down because this bag of kids stuff is really full. Um, first things first, a couple of kids shoes. So a lot of these, um, if you're new to my thrift hauls, then you don't know this. So I'll go ahead and preface it with this because I am going to be hauling a lot of kids stuff. No, they're not all for my son. No, I'm not an ex extreme hoarder. I'm only a little bit of a hoarder and I hoard a select few items for a possible second baby but these items are going to be for my friend's kids. So now that that's out there, I feel like I can go ahead and show you all of these kids' clothes that I thrifted. It's a lot. First up are these adorable H&M sandals. So these are a pair of girl sandals. Those will be for my friend's daughter. So these are a pair of Cat and Jack girls sandals, or a single Cat and Jack white pair of flats. There's a second one in here somewhere, but it's in this like avalanche of clothes. So these are actually going to be for my friend's daughter. One of her daughters is going to be a, in a wedding of one of our friends here in August. So she asked me to try to thrift the outfits for the ceremony for her four kids. She has two boys and two girls. They're aged eight, five, four, and two. So I've been like busy working on that whenever I go to the thrift store. So these are a pair of shoes that hopefully one of the girls can wear. And then this is the dress that I found. White dresses for little girls has proven to be quite a challenge at the thrift store. So it is this little dress and I think it is so adorable. Um, I think it will be so great as a flower girl dress. Um, she requested white dresses for the girls. And so if you look there, 
it has little like see-through bits and then there's little flowers and in the middle of each flower is a pearl center. This Hannah Anderson unicorn dress, the best part is this like tulle overlay on the skirt portion of this dress. It's so cute. And going back to the shoes, I just thought of this because I might get comments on this. Whenever I thrift kids shoes, I now be sure to check the wear on the shoe. Um, I try to pick up shoes that are like new or new or have very, very little wear because since I started thrifting kids shoes, I have since learned that while it is good to shop secondhand for kids shoes, it's good for the planet. It might not necessarily be good for your child's foot. So as we know, children's feet are still rapidly growing. They are very, I guess, more like moldable than adult feet, which are already grown and they're not gonna change that much. But kids feet are still changing. And so from the research that I've done, certain shoes, if they have like imprints of the foot of the previous child, or they're like too worn, they can hinder proper foot development or affect the kid's gait. So that's why I try to thrift really new shoes now. Back to the kids clothes. So this is another one of my favorite kids brands is T. So this is a little girl's rainbow print dress. More Hannah Anderson. This is a little girl's butterfly top. So these are Gap. Another one of my favorite kids brands. I love to pick up Gap. So this is a pair of little boys shorts. How cute is this girl's dress? So this is a little girl's Christmas dress. This is $2. For $2, you could have such a cute little like Christmas outfit for your child. Um, this is also T. So that rainbow dress was by T and this one's also by T. So this is a little girl's um, butterfly dress. This is a jumpsuit. So this is by Tucker and Tate. It is this amazing gingham jumpsuit. The top part here is smocked and then there's like the pants. So this is super cute. Like I would wear this. I would love to like have a daughter and have a mommy and me like matching moment with this. So precious. Another cute like Christmas option. Like if you're doing Christmas pictures, how cute would this be? This is a little tunic dress by Gap and I thought this was a darling. Um, I got these Gap cargo pants for my son. It's a little striped girl's dress. It's like a little overall dress. Oh, here's another Hannah Anderson piece. So this is a gingham or checked dress. This was an exciting find. So this is new with tags, as you can see there, it just focused. So this is by the brand Jamie K. They make the cutest baby and kids clothes. And then this sweatshirt, I was so excited to find. So this is gonna be for my friend's son, the one who's into Sonic the Hedgehog. So he will have a matching sweatshirt to go with that Sonic backpack that I showed earlier. This is more Hannah Anderson. This is a butterfly top. This is a Hannah Anderson girl's dress. And then I found this really nice jacket. So this is by L.L. Bean. And it is this like windbreaker girl's jacket. So this was a nice find. This was $4.99. I have another like mountain of clothes happening right here and I'm just waiting for another avalanche to happen. So if you have a little girl, then your little girl might love playing dress up. So I have been finding some adorable dress up clothes for a little girl. This one is Ariel. So this will be for my friend's daughter. This is, can, any, can anyone guess? This is Belle. Um, so that'll also be for my friend's daughter. It's Cinderella. There's a little, uh, mouse on the apron so cinderella so i'm really excited about those um little dress so it's a little girl's dress with some nice embroidery this was priced really well it was priced at 2.99 a lot of the times goodwill likes to mark zara up at like 4.99 or 5.99 but this was only 2.99 ah the other shoe i knew i knew it was here somewhere i found this baby gap pop it's a button down, so I'm going to be giving this to my son. I found some swim trunks. These will be for a friend, but these are Baby Gap, and it has some little turtles on there. So this is the last item, is a pair of swim trunks. I recently enrolled my son in swim, so these are some little Chubbies swim trunks. I didn't even know Chubbies makes kids swim trunks, but 
here we are. I'm going to see, now that I know Chubby's and it's on my radar, I'm going to see if I can find some like matching ones so like Jason, my husband, and Augie can match. Whew. Okay, if you're still watching, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you made it to the end, just leave a quick comment. It doesn't have to be anything long. And just let me know what your favorite item that I thrifted was. Um, that would be much appreciated. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully there will be more and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.